everybody. Welcome back. Um, I know most of you know us. Well, you should by now. But anyways, for those of you who don't, I'm Sylvia. I'm a boss babe. And I'm Courtney. I'm a proud mom and a growth influencer. And together we are side by side. So again, I hope everybody's enjoying their day um, and learning, reading, doing whatever they have to do. Um, you know, in order to better their their lifestyle. So, and speaking of reading, today is our book review, which I'm always excited about because, you know, Courtney and I, we love to read books. So today we are going to go over um, The Power of Influence yes. by Ty Bennett. And um, so that you guys know, it's a small read. It's not a big old book. You know, don't think, oh my gosh. So we're letting you guys know so you don't get scared. <laughs> It'll make it, you know, so you it prompts you maybe to want to read it. Hopefully you will. So um, we're going to go ahead and get started. Go ahead, Courtney. Okay. Well, well again, welcome everyone. Um, and this, this is a simple read. I finished it in two hours in one sitting. So that should tell you right there that you can read this book pretty quickly. And it's very informative and I can't wait to share the reviews, but this book is um, it's a highly rated book. It's very well known. And Ty Bennett shares his philosophies and tools for increasing your influence and impact as a leader. So we felt, felt that this book would really be a benefit for you guys, for those who are starting to build a business or just starting out, because that's what our channel is all about, starting out. Um, how do you become a good leader? Uh through influence, right? How do you become a great leader? By using influence, integrity, and engage and aspire. So that's what I hope that Sylvia and I are doing. I hope we're, we're lining up with that. Of course so, we so. are. We're right up that alley. <laughs> what do you mean? <laughs> so, um, you know, another, uh, one thing that uh, I wanted to, before we, we begin, and I know everybody probably knows, the the word influence okay that is the key word of the day that is the word of the book so i just want to go over um you know what everybody knows what influences and it's like courtney said she just mentioned three things you know that can be um influence but um what it is it's you know the power to sway or affect on prestige wealth ability or position so i mean an example, um, uh, influence. Okay. Um, those oh, famous my. people that sell cosmetics. Okay. They have prestige, right? They're wealthy. And, you know, she says, oh, I use this on my face. Well, guess what? If you like that person, she's going to influence you to buy the product, right? Yep. Exactly. Do you have an example, Courtney? Um, well, there's, um, Let's see. Influencers are also YouTubers that like like to clean, like moms that like to clean and stuff. Um, they're influencing you and encouraging you to clean your house. Influencer is so prevalent around in our society nowadays. YouTube, Instagram, Snapchat, TikTok, those are influencers because you're watching their information and you're learning. And they're influencing you on what they're doing. Yeah. And they're, again, of all, you know, rich, young, old, whatever, they're all kinds. And that's why we thought this book would resonate with you guys, because today's world, it's about a lot of influence, most definitely. So we just wanted to, you know, go over this great book and go over what, um, like, the definition is, what it means, because, you know, there's more than, you know, you think influence, but there's a lot of things that go into influence. It's more than just a word. There's, you know, different categories of influence, like yep. we were talking about. So um, in this book, uh, one of my favorite things that I liked is um, when he talks about himself in the beginning, he's, he took one word and he studied it and he practiced that one word for the entire year and he did that for about four years so I think that's great because um we do that like every you know new year's or whatever we pick a word like if I say I'm going to be present I'm present for the whole year 
So mm-hmm. I really like that he did that. And that would probably help, you know, you guys, if you picked a word and just concentrate on that one word for one year mm-hmm. and see the difference it makes, because that will be a word that you live by. So again, that's where, you know, influence is coming in. So I know, Courtney, that we all got a lot of nuggets. So, you know, what else are we going to learn from the book? Well, um, how to address influence and leverage it for personal and organizational growth. And ways you can do this is you add value to your customers and team members by being an influencer. You proven techniques to invest in your people and how to master conversational leadership because you need all that to be a great influencer when it comes to your business, your products, whatever you have to offer. And topics covered will be um, what leadership is all about, skills for becoming interested or not interesting, how to practice the platinum rule. So, so Courtney, let me stop, stop you right there. Okay. When you say skills for becoming interested, not interesting, what exactly is that? Okay, what it is, is you want to get people to be interested, but not being like interesting, meaning like interested in what you have to offer, but not necessarily being um, interesting on how it is. You just, you, it's a tongue twister. <laughs> Did you get it kind of? So what would be a good example of, of you uh, being um, interested, not interesting? I'm interested in that product that weight loss product that's I'm really interested it's not oh that's interesting about the product like oh okay you want to get the person to be I am interested in receiving that product like I want that product um it's kind of a hard way you have to read the book and it'll it'll make it more clear (laughs) okay and that and that's a good thing you know some of you might not know what the difference between interested and not interesting is so that will help you as as well. And then you mentioned um, the platinum rule. Platinum oh. rule is specific ways to invest in your people. And it's a, a rule that you would follow, kind of like uh, any rules you put in your life that you want to be like, I have to meditate, I have to work out. It's the rules that you need to follow to be a great leader, such as how to create a buy in, ways to add values to clients and team members. And how, why partnership is the new leadership and how to mas- master conversational leadership. It's just the uh, same thing I've been repeating again. It's to, they're platinum rules for you to follow so you can become successful with your company or what, in whatever your endeavors are. Oh, interesting. So I hope that's interesting for you guys too, um, as well. And like I said, you know, even though it's a little book, you still get a lot of good nuggets. So um, like I mentioned before, there's a lot that goes into influence. So, you know, Courtney, did you know that there are different types of influence? Yes. Okay. How many of you out there know that, that there are different types of influence? Courtney knows because she reads so many books. (laughs) But for those of you, they're um, actually six and he goes over them in the book, okay? Ways to improve your influence. So just imagine it's not just influence, there's more to it. Now, um, did you have any favorites, Courtney, or any anything that stood out for you that you particularly liked? Yes, in chapter three, okay. in chapter three, um, it's about developing outward thinking. The most effective formula for ex- Exerting real, positive, and lasting influence on others is to consistently think of others. Think of others and not yourself. That really resonated with me. It's to be a service to others. Yeah, basically. don't be selfish, right? Right. <laughs> right. And there are five applications to this, this influence. Five. And that's, that's just amazing how he breaks it all down. And this really resonated with me is if you're a speaker, it's about people listening to you. If you're in sales, it's about your customers or your prospect. If you're a leader, it's about people you are leading. If you're a teacher, it's about your students. If you're a parent, it's about your children. Therefore, you need to think of 
out, think out, but not you. It's not so about can, you. Can you elaborate more on out and not you? What it is, is you're thinking of other people and what you could do to be a service to other people out there versus thinking about how you can help yourself. Because if you take the focus off of you and put it on the people out there, then you're going to get in tenfolds back to you automatically. It's being a service to others. That's life. Okay. That is life. And um, yeah, it is life. That's why I like, I like this book because it's just about being in service of others. Right. And not in service of yourself. Right. So, yeah, I, to I totally like that, resonate with that as well. Now, on the topic of speaking out, he shares what a limit, lim, lim, litmus test That's is. Mm -hmm. Is that correct? Yes. So what, you know, what exactly is that? Do you know what that is, Courtney? Mm -hmm. Have you heard of it? I never heard I, of it before the book. I haven't heard it for the book, but I have got so much from the book. So clear, clear it up with me. <laughs> okay. So basically what it does is it's a test that helps you see which one of these you are, like Courtney mentioned, you know, outward, selfish, or selfless. So mm -hmm. that right there should help you guys with the, the out, how she was saying um, the outward. It's not about you, even though you're thinking, well, I need to do this, you know, example, I need to talk to this person because if I don't, some, some, nothing's going to happen for me. So that in a way it's kind of like you, but mm -hmm. if you focus on that and you don't focus on getting to know the person because you're being selfish, like I have to do this and you know, whatever it takes, you might not get the result that you want. Exactly. Exactly. And it's being just selfless, selfishness. It's just not it's not all about you. It's about the people in the world, the people that are out there. It's about being a service to them mm -hmm. because being a service to others makes you feel good inside automatically. If you can offer yeah. someone, oh, I have a great cream or I have a great, you know, toothbrush or I have a great book. Yeah. Or I, well, I have something that will help you with that. Yeah. Or even if you're just going to give them a, like if Courtney says, my gosh, my back has been hurting. Even if I just say something that doesn't have to do with my business, you know what, Courtney, I ran across a video the other day that was showing stretches if your back hurt. Let me let me send that over to you. Mm -hmm. Exactly. It's just being a service to others. Mm -hmm. Yes. That's basically what he, he's saying is getting out of your own head and just think about what others need. And, and when you're around and be present with whoever you're with is being present with them. You don't mm -hmm. need to be thinking, oh, I got to do this at home or oh, I got to yeah, do this. Yeah, or how long is this going to take? Because yeah. guess what? They're going to read it on your face. Mm -hmm. You have to be present to with whoever you're with at that time. Always, then, always. Yes. So, no, I agree. And then, you know, um, also, and, you know, if that's not enough. He also provides 30 powerful investment um, investments in people tips, you know, what you should do to invest in people. So mm -hmm. of course, you know, I'm not going to list these because when you read it, you're going to see them. Yeah. <laughs> exactly. So I'm not going to do that, but, um, what do we call it? But you know, when you read it, you'll, you'll find out and trust me, they're all so simple. and very, very helpful. And there's 30 of them. I'm sure there's more, but he only lists 30, you know, so, um, you know, there's a lot of good quotes in that book. Um, what was your favorite, Courtney? Um, my favorite quote uh, was a quote by Henry Ford. Whether you think you can or think you can't, you're right. Now think about that for a minute. Wh whether you think you can or you think you can't, you're right. So if you think you could do something, you're right. If you think you can't do something, you're right. You're right. Just put it in your head. Because you just um, you just manifested that. <laughs> if yep. you said you can't, guess what? You can't. You yeah. said it, you put it out there, that's that's on you. That makes you that's really thought provo provoking when you think mm -hmm. about that. Yeah. Always I always tell Courtney, you know, everyone we we need to watch what we say. Mm -hmm. 
because, you know, you might not think twice, oh, no big deal, but it matters. It really does. And especially the intention that you put in it, it makes it more powerful. Yes, it does. It does. Now, Sylvia, what's your favorite quote from the book? So the one that I like was the one that says, do something for somebody every day for which you don't get paid. Like, again, the example for Courtney, you know, I didn't say, hey, here's a, here's information. Uh, give me five bucks now. <laughs> You know, I did it because I wanted to help her and wanted to be a, just of service as a friend. Mm -hmm. So mm -hmm. I like that one. That is by Albert Schweitzer. And mm -hmm. I, I really like that, like every day. Just help somebody. It doesn't hurt you. I mean, it's uh, for me. I love it. it. I think it's awesome to help people, even if it's just something, you know, hey, I can recommend a curtain iron for you if you want. <laughs> Or you go, you see a homeless person, you buy them a meal and say, here, this is for you. It's just something. It's giving back and being a service to the community mm -hmm. and being a service to others because it makes you feel good at the end of the day. It's knowing I got to help some people or I was just, I was being of service to others. And that's what makes the world go around, in my opinion. Yeah, well. We, we would like to think that everybody does it that way, but that's, that's the way we would like to, yeah. to see it done. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> We exactly. can't speak for everybody in this world, but just. <laughs> yep, exactly. And then regardless of the type of organization you're in, your role or the role you play in it, you are a business of people. Because of that, great leadership is driving force behind growing your own business. That is true. And I hope, you know, as newbies, you guys realize that because sometimes you need to take charge. You know, it can't always be friend, 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 because then who's going to make all the decisions? Who's going to be the one to be responsible for everything? You need to take charge, you know, but like I said, in a good way. And then that way you can grow your business to the potential that you want. Exactly. And it's a balance. It's a balance of being service for your employees or whoever you hire, you know, helping them, but also being a service to learn when you have to be a, a, a more of a leader to tell them what they need to do. It's, it's, you have to balance it out and weigh your thoughts on what you need to do. Um, mm -hmm. Because if you are a service to your employees and you really care and genuinely care about them and their health, their success, their families, in turn, they're going to care about this business, your business. Yeah. And keep in mind, you know, employees, business partners. I mean, I'm not, I'm generally not speaking of eight to five because somebody else is above you and they're telling you what to do, but you personally can do, you know, these, these kind things to whoever you work with as a coworker. Yes. You know, just or you're starting a company and you have employees, not, not you're the owner of the company down below because you need to take care of them. They're your family. It's your work family. Exactly. And, you know, and what, think about what influence you, you would have if you were good to them, you know, you didn't overwork them. You didn't treat them badly. You paid them a good wage. They got vacation, all that influence. They're going to be happy. Mm -hmm. They're going to want to stay there. They're going to want to work with you. And making it a holistic work environment. Yeah, I remember a lot of companies are starting to do that, which is awesome, you know, down to the equipment, to the chairs, to the visuals, because a lot of people's vision, you know, sitting at the computer, you know, is not good. So, yeah, there's a, a lot, a lot involved. Gosh, there's so much of it. I don't think we're ever going to finish having topics about business, to be honest, Courtney. No. <laughs> No, <laughs> and and then it keeps changing, so yeah. that's better for us and better yep. for you guys, the 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 newbies out there, the the millennials and stuff. What they're doing for the work environment now is just amazing. And to be honest, I wish it happened sooner than later. So yeah. but you, you know, know, everything happens when it happens. So. But, you know, because if we didn't, if we didn't go through the old school, we wouldn't be able to talk to you guys right now. Certainly. True. Very, very true. That very there's, a re true. there's a reason why we went through all that. So we could tell you guys today, look, 
we were there, been there, done that. <laughs> we didn't read, we didn't read that in the book. We yeah. lived it. And so this is how we can be honest with you guys and tell you and help you. Exactly. You know, exactly. so, yeah. I just, you know, their memories. Yeah. So grab that book. We, we both highly recommend it because it's going to change your life. It's going to change your thought process. It's going to change a lot. And gonna, your really your word it. for the year is going to be influence. Influence. There you go. And live by it most definitely. We're, we'll go ahead and put a link down below where, you know, where you can buy it. And then that way you can pick it up. Like I said, it's, it's, it's small. Do you have it in front of you so you can show them the size? I have it. Here. You have it? Look at you guys. You guys can read this. You can do this. Look at that. Read it by the pool. Come on yeah. now. We're at the beach. Two hours. And it's easy to pack in a suitcase when you go on vacation because it's thin and you can read it within two exactly. hours. It's a good it's a good travel book. Most yes. definitely. Read it on the plane. Be done and by the time what? you get to your being a service is if you're if you read it while you're on vacation, you finish it, give it to someone else. Oh yeah. Somebody might say, Hey, what are you reading? And you could easily say, you know what? I'm finished. Would you like to read it? Exactly. Exactly. So with that. And then you um, share it. I'm, I'm going to say my words, my words. Okay. Okay. <laughs> All right, everybody always be consistent because everything is subject to change. Okay, Courtney, go ahead. <laughs> and with that, please leave any co comments below on how this book has helped you, um, what you've got from the book, what some success that you've seen. And if you have any suggestions on what some different types of videos we can make, please leave them down below. So your assignment for your, your um, action to take is read the book and let us know what you got from the book. And remember the word of the year, influence. influence. You don't have to start it in January. You can start it any time right. of the yeah. year for your, exactly. for your word of the year. Exactly. And please give this a thumbs up if you got great value out of this video. This would really um, help Sylvia and I to know that you enjoy this type of content. And what that Sylvia any last words I don't know I said, I said my words already okay <laughs> well, then we will let you guys go I so hope we I'm influenced you to read the book how's yeah. that so with that take care have a great day okay bye guys <laughs>